Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again in the Cursed Estate, ready to head out once more. I think this time we're going to go out into a mission in the Weald, complete 100% of rune battles. We get a nice little trinket for our Ermin Seeker, which adds plus 30 maximum HP and extra damages if, if in position 1. Definitely think we can make some use of that. Uh, and we don't really have the bosses to go for quite yet, so I'm just kind of playing around with some of the missions we have available here and sort of the next thing I'm looking to build up towards is the um, Baron so if people can give me some advice on how to beat the Baron uh, or what team comp you think it'd be best uh, we probably want to take some people that already have the curse so maybe think about that we do have four people but obviously we're not gonna be able to bring all four of those guys but it might be worthwhile sort of working those into our build. But here, we're going with uh, Trell, our Revenant. He's just recently been on the adventure with Dismas and been helping out with Mary and the construction. We have Clint, our bounty hunter here. Uh, he's going to be mainly used for his stunning and marking abilities. His marking abilities are going to help out a little bit. Um, and then we've got our new class our new healer the mender uh which is a very very strong healing class as you can see we've got a really nice single target heal a very nice aoe heal um a heal that includes a clear debuff blight and bleed and then we also have a stress relief as well we're not going to have any damage uh, so to speak of on this character this is gonna be a full heal one and then also we're bringing out prisoner 10 it's been a long while since he's come out he's gonna start off with the charge and then move into slash and such you can see that this does debuff his damage on slash but um pugilism is actually well pugilism should i say is uh pretty useful as well and it's gonna buff its damage of the of that move and we can keep using that over and over again so let's build up some trinkets set to start off uh, first of all here, for Revenant, we have this, which is extra damage, crit, and minus speed. I'm 100% going to take that. That is an insane amount of extra crit. And then, due to that, even though his base damage isn't the highest, I think we should go and give him the ring uh, and up his crit even more and just try and get his crit really high up. Uh, also, using him as a frontline tank mainly as well because that 54 maximum HP is going to be really, really useful. Uh, and this is going to kind of be a heavy damage build. So, we're going to go with another 20% damage there um, as well as what, what was the other damage one we we're going to go for I think it was these ones wasn't it um, yeah so we're losing a bit of speed and a little dodge but we'll get like really good damage out of that and then here we probably want some more damage going on this is like I said very heavy damage build um, it's going to help out a lot so I think on this guy here We'll actually give him the uh, the stress healing. Uh, maybe no, no. We'll go with the we'll go with the crushed hemlock, the the blighting thing, and then we'll also go with the extra speed crit and the minus chance when it's above to a seventy four light. I think that's going to work out fine. Um, and then here we have a pretty good roundup of damage dealers, and then a very good healer as well. Uh, of course, the healer needs the healing skills also. So let's get that going. Um, I don't think we have anything else that adds healing skill. We still don't have the uh, the head that adds healing, unfortunately. But this itself is enough, and we're not going to... Even though this is never virtue, we're not going to have to worry about virtue at all, simply because we're getting so much stress healing off of our mender. Um, which, wait a minute. Ooh, we might not be able to use our mender. I just realized something. Yeah, we, we can't use our mender yet. I just, I just realized something. Right, let's... Unfortunately, let's take those off. Um, our mender doesn't have a backstory yet. That is a very good point, me. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go for a different healer for now, then. We'll bring out Ryan instead. Uh, Ryan, of course, is a very good healer as well. So that's not going to make too much of a difference. But we don't have that stress heal and the cure blight and bleed that we would have had otherwise. But I think it's okay. We'll try this out. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Um, minus 25 stress healing skill, that doesn't actually matter. Um, okay, that's all fine for now. You can do that from the backline cart. Yeah, let's, let's just take a look at his skills here. We might want to switch some of these out. He's going to be able to do that. He's not going to be able to do this, so let's switch that out for this. So let's just quickly reorder those. We're going to go one, two, three. There we go. Okay, so now we've actually got our team in, um, bringing Ryan out here. Maybe Trell can start off that conversation that Dismas wanted to have with Trell, uh, with, um, with Ryan, sorry. I know that Dismas wanted to make things right between them, and, uh, 
maybe this will start that off. We'll we'll see. But anyways, let's uh let's get our provisions and let's get going. But yeah, we are gonna need a backstory for the um for the mender for anyone that wants to write that. Uh, I know it's something I mentioned at the end of the last episode, but we haven't had anyone write for it yet. I, if not, I'll end up writing it myself. But yeah, we'll get into that. Uh, let's buy ourselves some food. We'll get ourselves um, five shovels, and we'll just go for five everything else. Don't need any of that. And then take ourselves some of these. In fact, let's bring some laudanum just in case. I don't, I don't know what we'll need it for, but we'll bring it just in case. Right, I think this is a good group of people, good group of guys. Uh, let's go ahead with this and see how this goes. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? No, I'm not. Cool. Let's go ahead. Now, we have our first diary entry here uh, from TA, and this is for our Nina, our grave robber. I've contracted that curse I've been hearing about recently. I've tried using some stuff to make myself well, and it didn't work. I went to Isaac, hoping he could help me, but he couldn't. He needed to do some research. He did. However, he did give me a vial of blood and told me to keep it. Now, I don't remember much of what happened last night, but when I woke up, my room was trashed and the vial of blood was empty. Oof, people are getting the curse. It's starting to affect people. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all right, the straight forward. Let us burn out this is quite a, quite a hefty group in terms of our uh, attack. Ryan's actually going to be quite weak within this group, but... Look at that already. Instant kill there. And then Ryan is getting that severe mood swings where he gave himself minus stress, which is great. Um, what is this minus? It lowers damage. I'm just going to do it on you. What the hell? And try and finish you off. Unfortunately, it wasn't so easy there. We've got Obliterate here or Sanguine Strike. Um, it doesn't really matter which one of these we use. I'm probably just going to use a blitz. Let's, let's see how much damage can we deal here. We're not going to deal enough to get a kill, so we might as well just go for the kill on this guy before he gets an attack out. We're going to take a bite there. Devour's going to mean a big heal for him. That's okay, though. And then we'll use this here. Nice. Increases his damage there. And that's a huge crit from our bounty hunter. Awesome. Right, make sure to reorder party after everyone. Oh, wait, go back in here real quick. We do have some at Trelk. You can take a look at that coffin. Brave of you, thank you. Let's keep marching forward. Ambushed by foul invention. Okay. I have a few big bad guys here. I'm going to take a mark straight off the bat. That's fine. Um, Let's just go for this. I, I didn't actually bring his um lower bleed chance trinket, which I probably should have done. That is such insane damage. Um, yeah, I didn't bring his lower bleed chance trinket, which I probably should have done, but I think we're okay. Um, 8 to 17. So it's better to go for this guy, because then he'll die to the bleed. Yep, indeed he will. Um, and we'll just activate repost here. Good. And see if this is the right target. It did indeed. Nice. Wow. Okay, that was... Uh, that was bad, but luckily, we crit heal for 38, so it doesn't matter at all to us. Unfortunate miss there. You should be dead to the Blight and Bleed, I think. Yes, you are. Okay. Just you to deal with now. Obliterate here. Smack that on you. Another one of those, but it dodged it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we'll lower your damage a little bit, just so we, we take our next hit. It won't be quite as bad. Savage Maul once again. And you are down. Okay, I will, however, get rid of just the bleed. The blight's fine. I can take the blight damage, but I don't want to take the bleed as well. Pack's already been looted, unfortunately. Now, we do have a, a new mini boss that we could come across within this area called the Banshee. I don't know if I'll do it if we come across it, because I, I would have to say I'm pr pretty ill-prepared, and I don't really know what party works best for it. But at the same time, I do really want to try it. I, I think our healing is too shoddy, though, at the minute. We've got a gargoyle in here. That's odd, but we'll take it. Unfortunately, I messed up a little bit there. Bleed and blight him. I messed up a little bit here, and... Um, should we even do this? No, we'll just go for the heal. I should have uh, pushed him to the back, and I forgot to. That's okay, though. Get a bit of bleed on you. Finish you off. Okay, this is already a good setup to start. Getting two enemies off before they even get to attack is really nice. Rend again. They really, really want to take down Trell. I think Trell just... He looks like a threat. 
by the looks of things, because everyone's going for him. Take a bit of stress here. This is one of the reasons I brought that loud no more along with us. Um, you didn't actually get horrored, so that's fine. Another crit heal for 28. Nice one, Ryan. You're doing good work so far. You haven't betrayed anyone yet, and then there you go. You inspired Trail to hit incredibly hard, which is just awesome. I really should have got rid of some of this uh, horror, but I think... Well, nah, it's only, it's only three for one round. There's no point, really. Okay, nice amount of scouting here. And there it is. There it is. If we want to go and fight the mini-boss, we can. It's dangerous. It's it's one that could definitely lead to some death uh, if we if we play it wrong. But at the same time, I, I do want to do it. I think it could be pretty beneficial. Let's get rid of that bleed on you. It's going to do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, at the same time, I do want to do it because it could be quite fruitful. Essentially, let's let's go and take a little bit of a bit of time to do some some reading about it. Let's go and find the mod in the workshop and make sure we have it exactly right. So if we go to subscribed items, we can take a little look at um, this mod and sort of del delve a little deeper into the Banshee and see what it has to offer. Um, so one of the many mods brought to Dark Dungeon. Um, Mod introduction. Ancient graveyards stare within the wield, and an ominous, on, an ominous, 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 that's it, Om ominous threat presents itself. The spirit of a woman twisted in anguish. The banshee lingers amidst the graves of her lost family. Should anyone disturb these graves, the apparition, apparitions will prevent itself and resurrect her departed loved ones for you to fight. The banshee is a formidable foe, but should you defeat her, the treasures buried with her family are yours for the taking. Okay. I it's it's so difficult. Let's let's uh, let me take a, a quick reprieve and check on some of the stats and we'll see if I can do it. One second. Okay, I've done a little research and it's certainly a difficult decision. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do it yet. I know for now at least that I'm going to leave it um and possibly come back soon. Uh but it's there are some really good trinkets you can get from it, and it's a really cool fight, so I really do want to do it. Uh, but, at the same time, it is not easy, and it could certainly lead to a death. So, it's it's one thing that we, we, we really have to weigh up. It's going to be a big risk, essentially. we got to weigh up whether we want to do it or not, because it's, it's a hard fight. And there's some characters that are specifically really good against it, and we could definitely come back later with those classes. The classes that we currently have, they'll, they'll work, but I wouldn't say that they're the best. Ah, that's one thing we forgot. Holy water. That's not a terrible shame, but... Oh, well. Bandages here. Nice bit of gold. So we'll sort of complete the dungeon as it is now, and then see how we come off after that. 27 damage on you straight away. Awesome. Yeah, and see how we come off. Basically, I think it's a three-stage fight. Um, but like I said, it's it's difficult. It's not it's not easy at all. Let's pull you forward. Didn't work. Okay, hit us with the dead meat. That's okay. Nice hit on you. That thing will end up getting a heal up, but that's okay. Actually, no, it won't. Obliterate. I think we've got enough damage to outpower the Banshee boss. It's just, it's one of those things, it's just scary, like, it could be a really tough fight. Could be a really tough fight. Um, just do that on you. Escape Cloud, a little bit of Blight coming in, that's not terrible. Unfortunate dodge there. And we got dead meat as well, but you're obliterated. Hopefully he doesn't leave behind. Yeah, okay, just left down, left behind a body. That's fine by me. Then we'll just go slash. And heal you up. We're getting good heals right now, which is making me more, like, hurtful. 41. And crits like that also make me more hurtful. Then it might be a good idea. But it's, it's scary, you know? Like, would we, risk, would we risking characters' lives for something that isn't, isn't guaranteed? And that's, that's scary. The Collector, that definitely doesn't help. Um, yeah, that certainly doesn't help. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see how this goes first, I guess. Okay, we're doing good damage to him so far. Very good damage to him so far. 
Collector's Call is going to make things difficult because we can't really hit the back line. Although I can hit random target, which is going to be great. Nice crit. We'll see how this goes. This is this is a very tough one. He just crit heal himself for 28. He crit heal himself for 28. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> that was evil. Go away, Vestal. Headbutt's going to hurt. Yep. Okay, this uh, this is going bad. Oh my god! Right, what sort of damage we're dealing here? Not much at all. Let's get repost going. We kind of need it right now. Right, Ryan, you really got to heal yourself. Okay, you're doing good damage. Keep it going. Ow. Oh, stun on him as well. This is really bad. Okay, missed on you. That's good. But this is bad. This is really bad. Um, We can pull you. We can pull you. 11. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, 16. That's good. That pushed him back though, sadly. And of course, we're stunned. Damage isn't coming out how we'd want it to. That's not too bad, but the stun isn't good because it's his turn next. Or nearly next. Okay, heal yourself up again. Need a healer topped up. Collector's call. No. Okay. Two Dismas's heads is real bad. So, well, one Dismas's head now. Still real bad, but not as bad. Okay. Just keep stacking up that damage. That's great. That's great. 129% damage on that. What I like to see. Head knocker, nice dodge. He's marked as well, so that's even more damage coming out. Collector's call once more. Him getting this off is not good. Um, I think we just go for the strikes on the Dismas heads. Nice heal. This is certainly scary. A dodge there isn't good either. Really isn't good. The guard isn't too bad. We can we can deal with the guard, and we'll try and pull you again. You're pretty weak. Life steal's not going to help Dirt Crit. 14, okay. Okay, that's good. You're almost dead. We're, we're in with a chance. That definitely hurts. Okay, you're dead. Good. We'll heal up with some food, I guess. We're going to have to. Oh, my God. That was a very, very difficult collector fight there. One trapezoid. One. Are you kidding me? That's upsetting. I was hoping for more than that. Uh, right. Let's go. And first of all... I didn't want to swap those two. I don't know why I swapped them. Um, first of all, get rid of that bleed. And then, yeah, we're going to we're gonna heal you up a little bit. Okay, you're full now. Yeah, that was uh, unexpected. Definitely. The match is struck. Oh, my God. Star is born. We can camp as well when we want to. We've got to remember that. Okay, i got to eat there. Still haven't decided if I want to do the Banshee boss yet. Like, that definitely didn't instill a ton of hope. But at the same time, I really do want to do it because it's really fun. And it'd be, it'd be a cool little thing to show off. But do I want to risk people's life for it? 18 damage right off the bat. Awesome. Um, yep, bring you forward. The Grave Nibble. Ow. A crit on a nibble. I'm not happy about his stress, I have to say that. Troll's stress is scary. Another rend, no bleed for us. A nice strike. And an instant punch to go down. Okay, oh, so close. Nice. Huge heal there. Howl's going to be quite a lot of horror coming in. I'm going to get rid of the horror on Trell just because I can't be arsed with it. There you go. You go down. You go down. Got some rubies here. As much as we've been needing them, we've only got one bandage left, so I'll get rid. Holy water there. We'll leave that for now. Right. We could probably got a few more battles left. Then we can camp and then sort of see what we want to do after that. I think that's the best course of action right now. It's a little, it's a little worrisome though, certainly. Another battle. Doesn't scare me too much. Let's get Trell healed up. A crit is great there for a bit of stress healing, even if it is meager. 
Okay, nice strike. Nice one, Clint. And obliterate. Oh, I was hoping that'd kill. Really hoping that'd kill. Nice dodge. Wing slam's gonna be us moving soon. Um I'm just gonna do this, get a bit of damage out there, because we don't need the healing desperately right now. Nice hits. The greater the glory. Okay, can't do anything here, so let's just pull one of these forward, get it in front of the body. Mark it for later. We did contract leprosy. Uh that's gonna be Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not it's not great, but minus 15 damage received is pretty nice. Still not going down. They love attacking Trail. I know he's marked right now, but leave him alone, please. Okay, luckily he just decayed into a body. Trail, you get you healed up again. You did bleed this time. Back to the nest. A little bit of stress. Okay. Oh, this has been a stressful run so far. And we got some maggots. These can deal some really gnarly damage, so let's just hope they don't. Nice, that's a good amount of damage off the bat there. Oh, I forgot to reorder my party as well, that's not good. Just build up our damage here. A bit rush. As long as we don't take too many diseases, we should be okay here. Take out the dogs as quickly as possible. The dogs can give us rabies. Crit heal on you. Okay, nice bleed. Nice hit on the dog. Of course, that's a random target, so... We've got to kind of play that right, but in that situation, it works out fine. Um, You need healing. Only eight. That's the lowest we've had so far, though. Which is really good, to be honest. Nice dodge. Sanguine Strike's going to hit you and bleed you. Lovely. And finish you off. Good, good, good. Okay, that worked out nicely. Check in here. Okay, so we've got a map, some scouting. We are going to have another battle straight up here. Let's swap round again. And we have some bloodsuckers. Okay, please don't get the curse, anyone. Please. Okay, that's one of them taken out already. Another one very close to. Trell would actually be the only one that I'd be fine with taking it because he kind of is supposed to have it as part of his story. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like, in terms of his actual character, not the backstory we've given him. Finish you off. Nice crit for 30 there, Clint. Okay. Um, let's check what's best to do here. Oh, he can't do anything from here. All right, then. <laughs> Gather the blood. Good, good. Get another one of those going. Ooh, blight and bleed on both of them. That's good. Nice dodge. Finish you off. Right, definitely want to get you healed up. Nice one. Put you back there again. Definitely worried about Trell's stress more than anything right now. And another one takes it. Yet another one takes it. We got another one of these. I don't know if we need to bring these. I think I think we already have one, don't we? I'm going to leave it. I'm pretty sure we already have one. But unfortunately, that's yet another person with the curse. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to tweak the values because way too many people are getting it right now. It feels like every single time we come across the Bloodsuckers, someone gets it, which is, in my opinion, far too common. Like, far, far, far too common. So we'll we'll tweak that a little bit. Make sure we're, uh, we've got it set up correctly. Ooh, okay. We got a big guy. Nice damage on him to start, but he's going to hit hard. We've got to be careful. Heal up Clint there. Only five, but that's kind of enough right now. Nice 24 hit. Nice 31 hit. Okay, he's doing good. Dead meat there coming in. Poison spores. Luckily, that's not one of his bad attacks, really. Ooh, that was bad. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, nice. It did hit him as well. I think he's pretty much dead here, you know. Almost. Heal herself up. Only six. Not great. The Vowers coming in strong right now. Oh, and a miss as well. Right, you're going down. We can't reach you with anything else, so that's fine. Confusion spores. Okay, that's a reorder, but we can deal with that. In fact, it sets us up for a really good attack. Thank you. 
Okay, he has left one of these things. Get you healed up. Thank you, Trill. Mark, you don't know if anyone else benefits from Mark, but we'll try it out nonetheless. And there's the strike to finish you off. As victories mount, okay. So too will resistance. Gold, we're gonna have to. I mean, do we leave gold? Is that a good idea? Doesn't seem like a good idea to leave 1,500 gold. I'll take it for the Loudenum. Right. Okay, so we can continue adventuring here. Let's quickly reorder our party and take a little look at our camping skills. Do we have Prevent Nighttime Ambush? We do. It's going to lead to a little bit of stress, though. Oh, no. That's a, we could just do that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. So let's camp here. Let's do that. The battle may yet be won. You can do your Prevent Nighttime Ambush. It's going to lead to extra stress for you, but I think that's fine. Oh, right. Hmm. I think we, first of all, do this. Hmm. I don't know if that actually would help us, really. We'll do that. That's going to help us. And we'll do that. And that's kind of all we've got going on, really. Um, I'll add a bit of damage to you. And I really want to do it. Uh, I really want to do it. Let's, let's go do it. Let's go do it. I could regret this hugely. And if so, I can retreat. As soon as someone gets onto death's door... Or gets near Death's Door, like too way too close, then I'll retreat. I promise. Oh, but I do want to fight it. Okay, food is low. It's this one here, I think. Or this one here. I can't remember which one it is. But it's a risk we're taking. But I do want to take it. Another hunger check. Wow. Right, here it is. Mass grave. We're all ordered correctly. Let's try it out. The Banshee. She summons the two. First of all, let's lower your prop and your damage. He resisted both of that. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Bad apple. Some blight coming in. That's some heavy blight as well. And that's horror. Oh, what? Why'd that do that? Okay, this is already going really bad. We've, we've not hit him, hit him at all yet, really. And he's got 33 damage. Wow, that prod. I didn't realize he had so much prod. Cattle prod. Okay, we dodged that. Okay, let's start building up this damage, shall we? Okay, you get to the back. Bad apple. That blight's gonna hurt. We can deal with it somewhat. 16, that's good. Okay, heal ourselves up for five? Really? Come on, we need more than five. Server up. Okay, that gets rid of his buffs. Hit you with that. Know your place. Nice dodge yet again. Dreadful sprites. More incoming blight. Nice hit. Right. I wasn't real. I wasn't like. N I didn't know there was going to be this much blight. Crazy. Bad apple. That definitely hurts. Okay, nice hit. Oh, he's healing up the. He keeps hitting her, which is good. Um, let's do this. Get our repurse going on. Bleeds him as well for a good amount. Not just bells. Another good dodge. Oh, okay. That hit the wrong target, but I'll take it. Should have, should have got rid of his uh, his blight. Right. 
Ryan, Ryan, do you know all those crits for 38 that you were hitting before? They'd, they'd, they'd be, those would be real good right now. Those would be real good right now. H hitting a heal for two isn't really that worthwhile. Really, one HP. He's got one HP. Okay. One hit of damage. Again, two HP this time. Right, get rid of this blight. That's insane. And I'm going to heal you up. Okay. This horror is crazy. Ryan, you absolute fuck. I can't believe you. Nope. Ryan, you've ruined it. You've ruined it for everyone. Well done. I'm not continuing with that. A zero heal and a bleed at the most crucial time. Why do you do this, Ryan? Why do you do this? God damn it. Ugh. Either way, it was fun to it was a fun to attempt that. We escaped with everyone's life. But yeah, that was that was not that was going to be bad if we'd have continued with that. That was going to be real bad. I think it was a good decision to leave when we did. Right, let's get everyone in for stress relief, pretty much. Trail, you can go to the pens hall. Clint, you can come in here. Prison the ten, you can get in there. And who else did we have? And then Ryan. Ryan, you can go, like, drink. You can drink away your time. Oh, no. You can have the pleasure of the flesh then, I guess. Right. Oh, my God. Man at arms. I don't think we have anyone we want there. No, not by the looks of things. We do have a librarian book for a lot of extra damage. Awesome. That's so good. Okay, so now we have something pretty interesting that we can do here. So, you might have just seen what I just picked up there. Now we can bring Sunasis with us. Um, not not to that quest, obviously. Um, we'll go for this one, this medium exploration. Eh, do we want to go for that one? Because we would have we would have the thing from the stars available. No, we'll just go for this... Um, I don't want to go for a long adventure, though. We've got two long ones or a medium here. We want to go for a medium, really. Um... Let's go for a medium. We'll try it out. So we can go with Sun, and then we can take the trinket that we just bought, wherever that is, here. Minus 20 stress, minus 100 resolve XP means she won't level up. Meaning she can help everyone else level up. Um, we'll also give her, because she's got that minus 20 stress, we'll give her the restoration head, because she can apply some good restoration. So we'll go with that. Uh, then who else should we bring with us here? We want a good dedicated healer as well. So let's bring let's bring Lucas along. We're not a good match. Oh, she doesn't like she doesn't like the librarian. Okay, okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Not gonna bring her along. Um, we could bring Mary or Joseph or Will. Let's bring Joseph along with us. He's got good blight, which is going to be helpful for, um... It's going to be helpful for taking out the boss. Um, the thing from the start if it spawns. Wait a minute, let me just do this. Cool. Uh, right, that's you. Then who else do we bring with us on this adventure? Who else do we bring? So we, we kind of... It would be nice to have someone with armor piercing of some sort. Um, of course, that isn't always available to us. I mean, we could just bring Jonathan with us. I mean, he does a lot of bleed damage, and I think, if I'm if I'm correct, let me just go and check. I'm pretty sure the thing from the stars is susceptible to bleed. Uh, Darkest Dungeon thing from the stars. I'm pretty sure it is susceptible to bleed. Uh, it's bleed resist. Yeah, it's only 33. So, well, it'd be it'd be um, 53 here, but that's still not much. So maybe, maybe we'll bring um, Jonathan along with us in the front line. Also means we've got another method of healing here, which is kind of nice. Uh, then, who else? We want another... We, we want a really hefty hitter here. We want someone that can do a lot and a lot of damage. 
Um, could, could go with this here. Got that repost as well. Do we have anyone in level 3 that has armor piercing? Doesn't look like we do, unfortunately. I think... I think we bring Jack with us. Or do we bring Venus? Jack or Venus? I think we bring Jack with us. Um, and it helps all these guys get leveled up. The only thing is, I, w I, I don't want to bring Joseph because he's going to gain a lot more XP and level up faster. And we kind of don't want that. But at the same time, we need a good healer. I mean, we could bring... Hmm. Ha can, you, can you hit from... Let's actually, let's let's reorder this a little bit. Let's instead bring Eon along. Swap these two around. Swap these two here. Bring him. Have him as a good healer. Um, and try that out. And then also, instead of Jack, maybe we bring someone else. Who would be better than Jack? Who can, who can hit from position three easily? You can Oracle... Oracle can. We could bring Oracle along. Morgana's also another one that can. Um, yeah, do you know what? And that's got 100% armor piercing, but okay. I like the idea of that. Let's bring Morgana. Right, let's get these guys uh, statted up. So we'll just sort by level again. Try this out. You're good. Jonathan, you need to be all leveled up, so one, two, three, four. Of course, we could go with a stress heal, but we don't really need to go for that for now, I don't think. His stress heal is nice, but it stresses him out, so it's a difficult one to really justify, I think. Morgana, go f one, two, three, and four. And then Sunasis, you need to go with second and these three then we need to do upgrade armor as well we're spending quite a lot on these guys but we need to get these people upgraded anyways so that's fine actually a lot of our money didn't realize how much we'd end up spending there uh but yeah let's let's get ready for this and then we're going into this mission here uh, let's get our provisions ready. Okay, we need to trinket people up first actually remember that first so we need healing skill on you let's just sort by character um Get that on you. And that on you for the extra healing. You're just going to be sort of a healer that does a bit of damage, kind of. Uh, Jonathan. Hmm. Do we have anything that affects bleed amount? I mean, we could just go like this. I think this is probably the best way to do this. Go with a blight and bleed on there. So he de deals a lot more bleed and a lot more blight. Then Morgana, you can be a really big damage dealer here. Uh, so we'll up your crit as much as we can. Um, what's an what's another good way to up crit? I suppose we could go with the... Actually, let's go with the increase from this here. That's a good amount of crit, plus speed. I think that works out. Uh, then, as soon as this has got everything she needs to go. Okay, this is a bit of an odd build, admittedly. This is a bit strange. But I think we can make this work. Just checking what everyone's got going on. Uh, into the Warrens. Let's get our provisions. Grab us some food. Grab us some shovels. Bit of everything else. Okay, and I think we're good to go. Let's jump on in. And we do have another diary entry here. And this one's from Friendly Shep. And this is for Zwayne, our powder keg. Just finished my first exploration. And I've already contracted something strange. There have been rumours of this blood sickness that seems to be spreading. And I feel the craving for blood. I'm not sure what kind. Just blood in general. I feel a little bit weaker. But my muscles feel like they've lightened up a bit. And I can move faster. A few of, her, a few of the members of this damned estate also have it. And I visited the weird guy with the mask who calls himself the Plague Doctor. He told me what was wrong and gave me a vial of strange, thick red liquid. It was probably blood, and he sent me on my way. So many people are contracting the disease now. We've got to explore 90% of the rooms. 
Let's try this out. So we've just got to go whatever way we want for now. So we'll go to this. Nice dodge, Morgana. Nice dodge. A map inside is great. Getting scouting off the bat is very, very useful. That's a lot of scouting. Okay, that's the entire map. Okay, great. <laughs> that helps us out a whole a whole heap. Uh, right. So, I think combat-wise, we're going to be okay. We want to lower your speed, or just kill you. Just decimate you. I was going to say lower your speed, but no, we'll just decimate you is what we'll do. Um, and then we're going to try and buff up everyone's XP. So, we don't need to do any of that. Let's just go with that on you for now. So that's that normally does five around for two rounds. Now it's doing six around for three rounds, which is real good. Um, take a stab at you. 12 damage, considering this isn't a damage build, is really good. You do get some extra dip, um, actions and stuff when you're bleeding, but that's okay. Nice dodges, people. A siphon. He transferred his bleed over. Interesting. Uh, let's whip you and pull you forward. Didn't quite get the pull, but that's fine. And you are dead to blight and bleed. This, I think, this combo that we've got going on right here with uh, Jonathan Baker, with these two trinkets, is absolutely insane on him. It leads to some really, really high damage over time. Like, a crazy amount of damage over time. Um, I'll add that onto you. Just get a restoration on everyone. Uh, you're not gonna die, are you? No, you are gonna die. I'll just leave you to it then. Look at where it hurts. Is gonna hurt, but we've got that going on. Okay, I'm I'm very happy with this. I wasn't expecting this to be as strong as it is. I'm gonna get rid of that because I'm not gonna need it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to be as strong as it is, but it's it's a it's very welcome that it is as strong as it is. All right, throw that in there. More food. Again, throw that away. We're not going to use it. I know we can sell them, but I'd rather have the inventory space for gems and such. Gems and the like. Oh, okay. We've got one of these guys. Uh, but I'm first of all going to take out these and lower their speed. Unfortunately, lowering their speed did nothing, but we did get a dodge off, so that's fine. And another dodge. Awesome. Get that on you too. Get that restoration started on you. Even though we don't need it right now, we're getting the restoration started is good. Okay. Uh, so let's have a look at what sort of things we can do here. So with this, it's going to lower the debuff resist a whole hell of a lot. His debuff resist is only 40, so that's not a big thing. We can lower his dodge and speed. His speed is low. His dodge is 9, so that would be decent. And then we could also do this, which is going to lower his prop. Let's do that to lower his prop. That's going to be really good. We are going to take some stress here. But yet another dodge. Wow, I've been getting lucky with that. Um, I'm actually going to leave you to die to all of that and just do that on you. Get a bunch of bleed on you. There you go. As we, as we lower your pl uh, as we lower your prot further and further, it'll be easier and easier for us. Nice. Um, no one's got stress yet, so we can get rid of that. Wait, is that a full party stress heal? I don't think it is. I think I think I was hovering over the wrong thing then. Okay, now you're dead completely. 20 over 5. Maddening. Maddening. We've hardly been hit. In fact, have we been hit yet? I don't know if we have. Let's keep pushing forward. It'd be cool if, um, if Sunasis, the, the librarian, had some unique interactions with the books that you can find as curios. She, for all I know, she might actually. I might just not know about it. It'd be cool, though, if, if that's the case. If anyone knows that if anything about that is true, then that'd be cool. Let me know. Okay, so we take our first stress and damage here. And probably some more. Yeah. So we'll get some uh, restoration and stress healing going on. As restoration for you. It's also going to cure that blight. You can get finished off or not. 18. Morgana with that crit. She is a beast. And we'll hit you for that. No blight and bleed on you. Okay, nice resist. Then we'll go with a party heal. Only for two, but that's fine. Unfortunately, mm, everyone's taking a bit of that stress there. Um, stress relief on you. Eight, and that's going to buff everyone up. 
get that extra XP. But yes, this this thing here is so good. Minor stress and the fact that we don't level up means that we can stay around to carry level threes through missions. And soon as this can just be everyone's guide that helps them train, essentially. That's 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 really what she's gonna be doing. Nice, and you are dead. Lower your stress again, I might might as well. Yeah, this is gonna be really, really useful. And here we can go and throw that on there. Nice. We gotta explore rooms, so we might as well go this way. That's not gonna help out all too much. Nice bit of extra loot. Good, good. So I'm I'm kind of like okay if the thing from the star shows up here. I mean it'd be kind of scary, but at the same time, I'm okay with it because we should be able to beat it, and we'll get our gems, our little sh shards, which I really want because I want to buy some of the more expensive things from the shop. We still haven't spent our shards that we got from going to the endless quest yet. Seventy, fifty, eighty. Okay, Morgana, you go ahead. Thank you, Morgana. Well done. The light, the promise of safety. Right, still some books there. I don't need to deal with any of that. Okay, so that's a lot of the rooms down already without having to really do anything. We can move along. We'll just go to all the battles here. Like I said, these hallway battles here, we only have two of them, but either one of them could be from the thing from the stars. We haven't seen it in a while, so I would expect it to show up soon. Okay, we just got a brigand guy. Brigand bl blood letter. Okay, um, any of you got high prot? You've got decently high prot. Let's take care of some of that. High enough for me to be worried about. You can get that restoration. Okay, you can take just all the blight and bleed. You are going down, sir. Point blank shot. That hurts a bit, but we can deal with it. In fact, we immediately healed with exactly that amount of damage. We took some slices there. Um, how, so how does this work then? Okay, that's great. It seems that that is going to cure the blight and bleed off them, deal 100% extra damage if they are bleeding, and then deal 100 armor piercing versus blighted. That's going to be really useful. Uh, you, that can go stick on you. Blanket fire. You're dead. You're dead. And we might need to get rid of a body here. No, no he's, he's a two-spacer, isn't he? And you can get whipped right in the face. Get brought to the front, and you have been flailed. Sorry, sir. You're dead. Nothing can stop a composition like this. Apart from maybe the thing from the stars. Ooh, we can get rid of a negative quirk here. Um, That's pretty good to get rid of. Distant there. Um, let's look for any other locked-in quirks. Okay, you are all locked in. None of those are major. None of them are major. Okay, so I think we try and get rid of the, this locked-in one here. Calm. Unfortunately, we didn't get the right one. Calm is still a decent one to remove, nonetheless. Let's go ahead. Okay, got a few hook it where it hurts coming in. So... Let's try and insta-take you out. Get rid of that stress. Didn't quite work out for us there. Get rid of some stress there. So here, I'm going to go... It's a bit of a waste, but I'm going to go like that and get rid of you immediately. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this. Debuffs you guys with minus 15 accuracy, which is really useful. Unfortunately, we did still take damage there. It means that their crits are going to be a bit harder to land, which is super nice for us. And it means we can charge back in later as well. Um, let's get a throw on you. Unfortunately, not quite what we wanted there. Morgana, you take that. And unfortunately, you're just going to have to die because these guys are stealthed. And then we can charge in this round, I think. Look at where it hurts. There's the crits we're hoping to avoid. Okay, we don't have that move on. That was a bit of a dumbass move of me then, wasn't it? Whoopsie. He's going to be useful, useless for the rest of battle now. I didn't remember that, <laughs> I have to say. I have to say, I didn't remember that. Right, you get that going on. Okay, yeah, don't ever move him to the back again, because that's just not going to work. We got 49 food. Everyone eat up. 
That's what that extra free food from the um, granary does for us. It's amazing. Okay, we can get a buff here. I'm going to take it on you, actually. There you go. 30% damage until camp. Move on to the next battle. Okay, these guys aren't great for us because, like I said, they get extra skills. React especially to skills with Blight and Bleed. Not the best for us, but we'll take it anyways. We'll Blight and Bleed them, nonetheless. Ooh, insta-kill there from Morgana. Nice crit. Well done. And we'll do some stress healing here. That was only one stress. Wow. And another crit. Awesome. Well done, Eon. As soon as it's taking a little bit of blight there, but that's okay. That's okay. Another slice coming in. And you're probably... Yeah, you are dead, so we can just focus on you now. Like, if you think about it, we deal... If you if you count all the turns, we deal like 50 damage in a hit with this guy almost. It's it's 40 something. Crazy. Uh, unfortunate miss there. Mental. And it just builds up and builds up as well. That's that's the crazy thing. It can keep building. Even more food. Box. It's stashed heirlooms, nice. Right, we're going to go all the way up to that back room there. Because I want to see if that's the thing from the stars. I think we can beat it. We've been kind of searching for it for a while now, actually. Trying to sort of seek it out and track it. But it's an elusive bugger. We're, we're, not, we're not having a good time finding it at all. I'll say that. We're having a pretty bad time finding it, really. If only Ruby's there, we'll take that. Still no. Okay, we'll just cut that guy down. I probably should have used my, um... I'll set up this. Probably should have used my dagger then to lower his prop, but that's okay. You're dead. Oh, nope. You resisted a lot of that bleed. You only... That's weird. He resisted one of the sources of bleed, but not the other. That's interesting. Okay, healing here is going to be necessary. Nice. There, you're dead. Blanket fires here are really annoying. Let's hope we can get some really, really nice AoE heals from Eon here. Take you out. You're gone. You can take that. You two already have that. It's you two that need the healing. In fact, let's do this instead. I'd rather go for this. I probably should have healed sooner, to be honest, but that's okay. Um, you have high dodge. So let's get rid of some of that dodge. I really like the way that Morgana's like a debuff machine. I just... Adds debuffs to everyone. It's really nice. Can you eat a little more, do you reckon? You can. Good. This should be the last room. There you go. And return to the Hamlet. Feeling pretty good about that run. That was a very safe run. And we should get a good amount of XP. There you go. Everyone's up to level 4. Eon and Jonathan Baker almost up to level 5. And then Sunasis got um, no extra resolve XP yet whatsoever. She got half of what she normally would have done. In fact, we could lower hers even further. Um, thinking about it, if we... I mean, I really like her healing abilities right now. Um, Idle Houndmasters gain one resolve level. What the hell? So, one minute. Let me just unequip trinkets and unequip these guys. Does that mean a Houndmaster's level 6 now? Level uh, 5 even? Pretty interesting. Right, let's check who else we've got coming in. Um, right, let's check our level threes really quickly. So, we need to level up Smith and Elise. They're pretty near to leveling up anyways, but let's check this one. Oh, do you know what? We'll leave those, because then we don't really want to do that. Uh, and then Scarecrow has already level four, so that's fine. Okay, and we'll check quickly if we've got any trinkets that we really want to buy. Minus 20 stress versus Eldritch. 10 dodge. Not the, not amazing. Okay, nothing that we particularly need. Either way, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Yet another good one. And I will see you guys in the next one.